Now, Forest Friends is what's called an NGO, that's a non-governmental organisation. It is a charitable organisation, which means that none of our volunteers get any money or profit in any way. We're a company limited by guarantee with no share capital, so that we don't have shares. But we operate in a business-like manner. We were founded in 2001, and we were set up in order to change dramatically the policy of the Irish government to plant our native trees, our native hardwood trees, and not the monoculture of Sitka spruce, which is destroying our landscape. And we also want to encourage people, individuals, communities, schools, etc., to work to plant trees in their own areas and to be part, to empower themselves, to be stakeholders in this whole dramatic change that we want to take place in the Irish landscape. Okay, this wood here is Sitka spruce from the wood here in Jouse in County Wicklow. Now we have to look and see how did it happen that this wood, which is not native to Ireland, how and when it came to Ireland and why this tree is planted throughout the whole country. Now, let's look at it. Who was responsible? And the person that's responsible happened to be a person that was held in very high esteem back in the 1930s and is held in very high esteem by foresters, Irish foresters today, to such an extent that each year they have an Augustan Henry lecture, especially for people involved in forestry in Ireland. That he found this tree in North West America, Northwest of America. He brought it, as a plant collector, collector, he brought it over to Ireland. It was planted in Ireland and it was researched and they found that it grew better and faster than most of the Irish trees. So they said, erroneously said, listen, we'll plant these everywhere throughout the whole country because it's a fast rotation crop and we'll have trees in maybe 20 years instead of waiting for an oak to mature, which would be anything up to 100 years to fully mature. So this is a fast maturing tree, but some of our native trees mature very fast as well. For example, the silver birch. So it was, it's wrong to say that this is the only tree that we know in the country which matures fast. In any case, the Forest Department of Forestry decided then to invest and put all their eggs, as it were, in one basket. But the important thing is this, that this is prone to attack by the pine weevil, because it is a pine. And in order to protect it, they have to spray the carcinogens all over the place. By the way, what we're passing here is the pesticides that are used to destroy the wildlife that might attack the trees. It was Lindane, it became Permasect, it became Cypermetron, all carcinogens, persistent, and affect the immune system of the person. Very serious. And these are the type of barrels that the Lindane, the Permasect, Cypermetron are held in, and then when the forest is clear felled, the whole area is sprayed to kill the pine weevil. Okay. The pine weevil. And that goes into our rivers and streams and can be a major cause of cancer. Now, if you take an oak tree, it would have hundreds of species attached to it, associated with it. And all these species, these, these um, insects and that, are past part of habitat and ecosystems all related to that tree. So if there is something that's going to attack that tree, there's something else to protect the tree. Now, the important thing is if you bring in an alien, what's called an alien species, it's not related, hasn't built up over hundreds of years, all the 
things associated, insects, bird life, etc., associated with it, well then the tree is up for so grabs. you need then to get away from the monoculture. If you look at the rainforest, for example, you might have, you know, a hundred different species of trees. And one tree might be a kilometre away or more away from the same tree of the same species. So you have what's called diversity. And the whole system of on our earth is based on biodiversity, the diversity of species. And here we have the opposite. We have a monoculture. So we have to get away from this monoculture and we have to restore our native forests which are based on biodiversity, a whole lot of species associated with the tree and a whole lot of species associated with other habitats in our environment.